Welcome to the Excited to Be video series. My name is Rita Sova. Watch for more educational videos and be project videos at SovaEnterprises.com. Thank you. All right, we're ready for the fringe, and you should have woven Nymo thread. And the reason we don't use Fireline for the fringe is because it doesn't hang, in my opinion, it doesn't doesn't hang as nice as the Nymo. So you're going to be exiting one of these T-beads on the bottom from left to right and then you're going to add your first fringe and we're doing the back fringe first. So there's a chart that you'll have and it shows that you need 25 cream beads for the first fringe. So you pick up 25 And you let them slide all the way down to your to the end of your thread. The only bead counts that change are these beginning counts of cream. So watch your chart as you're moving along. So from here down it's the same. You're going to add a bronze bugle, a cream, an aqua, a four millimeter aqua and another aqua then a bronze two aqua an aqua or a bronze drop and two more aqua Now you're going to take all the thread, all the beads, and let them go all the way down your thread. And when you do a fringe, usually you have a turnaround. Not always, but in this case you do. So the last two aqua, the bronze drop, and the two aqua, you slide down a little bit. And then your needle goes up through the bronze and the aqua and the four millimeter all the way up. Till you get to your T beads. And usually you have to do it in sections. And you pull your thread all the way through. And then your needle goes through the next T bead. Not the one you're coming out, but the, the next one in line. And you pull your thread all the way through. And that's your first back fringe. And you're going to repeat this. Now I would add on the cream, which would be 30 in this case. And then all these are the same, and you go back up and go all the way around. And when you're done with that, then I'll show you how to add on the front fringe. <laughs> 